Hi there, once again it's Greasy Hammer, and this episode is part of a series on mega base machines for oxygen not included. I want to show you a fast and easy way to produce molten steel, and we do that by means of melting down aqua tuners. So with this particular setup, you get about 1.2 tons of molten steel per cycle. And you may be asking yourself, what the heck am I going to do with molten steel? And the answer is, it's a high temp working fluid, and it's useful in a lot of late game builds, so you're probably going to end up needing it. Check out these builds in the links in the description below. But for now, let's have a look at this rig here. So first of all, what we've got here is a vacuum chamber. And I won't go into much detail on how to make a vacuum, but I'll sure to post a link. And in this particular chamber, we've got a vessel that needs to hold steel. And you can make this out of airflow tiles because they don't transfer heat when in a vacuum. At least they don't transfer heat with liquid. And you can also use insulation tiles for this. But in this particular build, we're not using any space materials here. So instead, what we will be using is steel, obviously. And we're also going to be using lots of obsidian, a little bit of wolframite, a little bit of tungsten, and a little bit of naphtha. And first of all, I want to talk about um, this particular part right here. What we've got here is steel uh, airflow tiles. You can use gold amalgam. You can use copper for this. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's in vacuum, it's all the same. This part right here, made of mesh tiles, this, you're going to need wolframite for this. If you use space materials, you can also use um, thermium, but in this case, we're going with wolframite. Just need a little bit here. And this is because AquaTuner needs to sit on something. So it can't just simply sit up in the air. It needs to be on some kind of floor. And so this provides that floor. And also this floor will not melt. What happens is when this AquaTuner eventually melts down by overheating, the liquid steel, it will just flow down through these mesh tiles out this way and this way. Let me show you. Okay, this should help a bit. So what we've got here is we've got this red area here, and this is basically where the really hot stuff happens. So in these tiles here, here, and over here, everything is extremely hot. And uh, you want to make sure that you do not have anything here that can melt, uh, unless you want it to melt, like this steel aqua tuner. Over here, we have a contactless pump and it's primed by this bead of naphtha. You can use visco gel ideally, but again here, no space materials, so naphtha it is. You can just use a bottle emptier to dump a little bit in here. You need about 70 kilos of naphtha to get this started, and you can make that using, you could just melt plastic, and uh, I can show you how to make a plastic melter, but that's for another day. Here, we need a, another bottle emptier, or you can just fill this with water from the mains, and you put a liquid tepidizer here. And the reason for all this is just you need to grab the heat from somewhere for this aqua tuner. And the tepidizer is perfect for that. The other thing you need is uh, when this melts, these two tiles here, they have pipes here. Let me show you the plumbing. Okay, we've got pipes made out of insulated obsidian. But these two pipes will get particularly hot once the aqua tuner melts. Because what happens is there's going to be molten steel here just momentarily. But there's a mechanic in the game where molten steel, as long as as soon as it's formed, it will immediately raise the temperature of these pipes to about 2200 degrees. You notice they're cooling down right now. And they're slowly cooling down because there's water continuously recirculating. And you need that. Otherwise, you're going to have um, you're going to have steam and it's going to crack the pipes. So you have a little bridge here. This is just a standard bypass bridge for aqua tuners. And this is going to allow the water to recirculate whether or not there's an aqua tuner running or whether even it exists. Okay, there's a little bit of automation here. And this is to turn on the aqua tuner on and off. And this really doesn't particularly matter. I just kind of added it in here anyway. Because if this aqua tuner is melted, well, it's definitely not going to be running. I can tell you that. But where you do need a little bit of automation probably is we have this, um, we have this hydro sensor and it checks to see if there's any steel. And that will control the pump. The pump will turn on if if there's a little bit of steel here. I've set it to 2,000 kilos. Below that, this pump will not kick in. The second thing it checks is if this reservoir here is it's got enough space. So you want the reservoir low enough for the pump to kick in. If the reservoir is too full, the pump will not kick in. One other thing that's important here is I've highlighted these two tiles for the reservoir. Okay, this tile right here, this is where the game stores the material inside the um, inside the reservoir okay it's like there's a piece of debris here or a bottle of water in a sense you can think of it 
or bottle of molten steel in this case. And you don't want it to come into contact with this particular tile right here. So this particular tile, if it's in a vacuum and made out of airflow tile, it will absolutely not conduct any heat between these two. And so no heat will be transferred from the contents of this reservoir and this tile. Otherwise, if you have this made out of, let's say, gold, then the steel inside of this reservoir will very quickly send the heat into the gold and melt it, and you're going to have a mess here. Now, the second tile here, this doesn't particularly matter. You can make this out of whatever you want. And the other thing is, uh, don't confuse the heat with the liquid inside of the reservoir with the temperature of the reservoir itself. They do not interact in any way. So when I'm saying the heat between the liquid, I mean exactly that. The heat is not transferred from the reservoir to this tile, just the liquid inside. Okay, now one other thing. So about this contactless pump. Okay, so let's have a look at the plumbing again. Here we just have a little passive filter using NAFTA and it just recirculates. And I'll show you another video. I'll post in a link below and it just talks about how to set up the pump like this and a little bit more detail about it. But I won't go into too much here. Let's just turn this on and see how it works. There we go. Okay, so it's running. We've got water recirculating, 85 degrees. This is going to start cooling it, which in turn cools this pool. And the deputizer, there's no automation here. It just keeps it at maximum at 85 degrees. And let's just skip ahead really quickly. Okay, so the aqua tuner starts to overheat. That doesn't particularly matter. It's going to, as long as you have disable auto repair here, so the auto repair is disabled, no one will come to repair this aqua tuner, and it will... It will stay overheating, but it will be, it will survive long enough before it melts. So we don't really care about the overheating. Okay, let's skip ahead. Okay, the aqua tuner is going to melt. There it is. And that's it. Now we have a nice large pool. And we can have the dupes come in here and then build us one more. Priority nine. And someone is going to come along and build another one and repeat the entire process. Now you'll notice again the insulated pipes here behind this are really hot at 2300 degrees and, and so. It's not an issue because the water will continue to recirculate and will just cool these obsidian pipes so they're not going to burst. And the water inside also is not going to be getting hot enough so it's not going to boil. And that's it. So this will produce you about 1.2 tons of molten steel per cycle. And you're going to need this for another build. Check out the video below. And if you found this helpful, please hit a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.